God in the highest and on earth peace goodwill among men. O oh Lord, you will open my lips and my mouth will show forth your praise. <clears throat> Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The peace that comes from heaven above, and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For peace throughout the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of them all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church, and for those who enter it, with faith, devoutness, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our holy ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew, the Archbishop of Constantinople, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
for our most reverend Metropolitan Gregory, for our esteemed priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For the honorable government of our country and all civil authorities and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city and for every city, village, and countryside, and for those who with faith dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For healthful seasons, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick, the suffering, and for those who are held in captivity, and for their safety and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, and want, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our ever holy, ever pure, ever blessed, and glorious Lady, the birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, Together with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you are due all glory, honor, and adoration to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the Lord's plenitude. Dios 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 plenitude. In any priest, no evil be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Hallelujah. Slava tu sinu isiatom uduku ineni prisno ivo viki vikovami jedino rodne sine i slove Boži besmertenci izvolivi spasenija naše orani Poplonti ti si osjeti a porodici i prisno divi mari neprelužno vočelovici visja raspni si aže Kriste Bože smerti u smer popravi. Jedin si sjati a trojci, proslavljaje mi ocu i sjatomu, sjatomu duku spasi. Premudrost prosti, Poklonim se i pripadem o Hristu, spasi nas, Sine Boži. Poskrese izmerti 
For you are holy, our God, and we render glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Wisdom 
The reading is from the Epistle of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Be attentive. Brethren, be alert, stand firm in the faith, be brave, be strong, do all your work in love. You know about Stephanus and his family. They are the first Christian converts in Achaia and have given themselves to the service of God's people. I beg you, my brothers, to follow the leadership of such people as these and of anyone else who works and serves with them. I am happy about the coming of Stephanus, Fortunatus and Achaicus. They have made up for your absence and have cheered me up just as they cheered you up. Such men as these deserve notice. The churches in the province of Asia send you their greetings. Aquila and Priscilla and the church that meets in their house and sends warm Christian greetings. All the brothers here send greetings. Greet one another with a brotherly kiss. With my own hand I write this. Greetings from Paul. Whoever does not love the Lord, a curse on him. Maranatha, our Lord, come. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with you. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Peace be unto you, the reader, wisdom be attentive. state, right on and triumph for the cause of truth and goodness and right. Your hatred for Let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all of you. And with your spirit. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory. said this parable, there was a certain landowner who planted a vineyard and set a hedge around it, dug a wine press in it and built a tower, and he leased it to vine dressers and went into a far country. Now when vintage time drew near, he sent his servants to the vine dressers that they might receive its fruit. And the vine dressers took his servants, beat one, killed one, and stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than the first, and they did likewise to them. Then last of all he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the vine dressers saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him and seize his inheritance. So they took him and cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. Therefore, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those vine dressers? They said to him, He will destroy those wicked men miserably and lease his vineyard to other vine dressers who will render to him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus said to them, Have you never read in the scriptures the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone? This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Come upon us 
and the power of the Most High, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Christ is among us. Yes, it shall. Christos pos redinas. Good morning. Have a seat, please. Last week, it was a joy to begin winemaking again. Some of you uh, were participants. Some of you uh, bystanders, well-wishers on your way out. Good luck. We started winemaking. We blessed the grapes. We had two cases of grapes all set up in a pool. And we bagged our feet, and we started crushing them. Some of us started eating them. The little ones. They parked next to it, and they started picking out grapes, just eating them. And I was hoping the seeds wouldn't affect them. No problems. But it was a process that began with blessing and with crushing the grapes. Okay, We had to obliterate them. There could not be one grape left whole. We had to crush every single one of them underfoot if we wanted to have a good batch. If we wanted to have a good batch of, of wine. Um, this is for communion wine. Uh, we, would, we would do this. And it has to be that way because some of you know this, and I've shared this, I think, that on the surface of pretty much every fruit exists a microbe. You know it as yeast, okay? It's a yeast microbe that lives on the surfaces of different fruits. Um, and in order for those microbes to start their work, okay, eating the sugars and converting it to alcohol and gas, you have to break the skin. Okay? You have to crush the grape if you want the yeast to start to work. Okay? That new life of the grape starts when its old life ends. You have to crush the grape for it to have that new life, for us to be able to give it new purpose. Okay? Today's gospel reading is about a vineyard. More specifically, it's about a master who employs others to take care of the vineyard. Okay? And he sends his servants to go and start collecting the fruit. And they kill the servants. And not only do they kill the servants, they kill the son. But I think this is very important to realize that when they are planning to kill the son, they are thinking in their heads, this is the heir. Quickly, if we kill him, we will have his inheritance. And Christ is sharing this parable and we know that this parable is about eventually his own death. So he's giving us a parable of jealousy. They want what the son has. It's a parable set up by jealousy. That the death of the son comes in part because they are jealous for what the son has. They are jealous. They are thinking somehow that if we kill the son, we gain something. We gain something from that. And we know that to be true in the scriptures. The Pharisees are plotting against Jesus. Okay. By the way, all of the servants who died beforehand, we know that to be all of the prophets that were killed before the coming of Christ. He sends a prophet, they kill him. He sends another prophet, eventually they kill him. And then when he sends the son, they end up doing the same. And we know in their planning that they are worried. We know that they are worried because they are losing the people. They have, look, the world has gone after him. They're losing the people in a way. And so they plot to kill him. They find something to bring to Pontius Pilate that is grounds for his death. He's doing work on the Sabbath. He he's, uh, says he's a king. All of these other things, they are making accusations. But the root of it is jealousy. They think that by bringing Christ down, they gain something. 
But here is the irony. Christ's death only brings new life. It only brings new life. Christ gives us in the scriptures examples of a grain of wheat. You know, unless a head of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it has no new life. Those are seeds. Seeds for new life. It's the purpose of wheat not to live forever, but to die, to fall in the ground and to give new life. And last Sunday it was the grape. The grape had to die for there to be new life. And so because of Christ and all of these lessons he gives us, there is a greater lesson. Not to fear death. And that's not easy. That's not easy. But in Christ, death brings new life. That's something that we pray for in the liturgy. For a peaceful Christian ending of our lives without pain or shame. Peaceful. We pray for a good ending. We're praying for our death. That it may come in God's time. And that it may bring us eternal life. Death for us is not so scary as Orthodox Christians. We are constantly planning for it. Because we see in the scriptures that even though Christ was being sought after to be killed, the irony is that his death brought new life. It brought new life. And so we hear in the Beatitudes, blessed are those who persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. He is saying, blessed are you when the world is after you. So do not be afraid if the world is after you. Do not be afraid to be on the weak side of a subject. Do not be afraid to be a voice for God when there is no other voice for God. It is said about John the Baptist, he is the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord. It's good to be that voice. And it's easier to be that voice when we are less afraid of the life that we might lose along the way. Do not be afraid of death, for death brings new life. Continue to pray for a peaceful Christian death in God's time, that it may come in good time. And it's good to engage God in the worship where we ask for those things. Continue to do that. It is a good thing. May God grant you strength in all of your life, and that when the end comes, it may be in his time. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Slava Isusu Christu. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Furthermore, we pray for our holy ecumenical patriarch, Bartholomew, the Archbishop of Constantinople, for our most reverend Metropolitan Gregory, for our spiritual fathers and all of the clergy and for all our brethren in Christ, for their welfare, peace, health, salvation, and for the remission of their sins, and that the Lord our God may prompt and help them in all things. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Furthermore, 
we pray to O Lord that you come to our aid now during the global spread of the coronavirus and be with the families of those who are sick and who have died. May the sick regain their strength and health and as they worry and grieve, defend them from further illness and despair. Heal us from our fear which prevents nations from working together and neighbors from helping one another. Give wisdom and strength to our president, our federal government, our state governments together with the leaders of all nations and give them foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they serve. Give them the added wisdom to invest in long-term solutions that will help prepare for and prevent future outbreaks. Let us all say, O oh Lord, hear us and have mercy. Furthermore, we pray to you, O Lord, that you be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical professionals who seek to heal those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. Heal us from our pride, which can make us claim and vulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. We pray that you stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow, whether we are home or abroad, surrounded by many people suffering from this illness, or only a few. We pray that you stay with us as we endure and mourn, prepare and persist. Let us all say, O Lord, hear us and have mercy. Mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Furthermore, we pray for those who give their offerings and do good works in this holy and venerable church, for those who labor in its service, for those who sing and for all the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy, for those who have shown us kindness, and for all Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are a mercy. Merciful God who loves mankind, and we give glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Life-giving 
Patriarch Bartholomew, the Archbishop of Constantinople, our most reverend Metropolitan Gregory, the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, all the monks, the nuns, the clerics of the church, the honorable government of our country, all civil authorities, and all the armed forces, the ever remembered founders, builders, and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom those celebrating their birthdays this week, especially your servants. Tony Chiselka, Daniel Hoffman, Slavomir Kormanik, Don Krasanowski, Catherine Rail, John Kinja, and Sarah and Jean Campbell. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom those celebrating their anniversaries this week, especially your servants, John and Lucy Chiselka. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom the catechumen, Susanna Spontak, will be chrismated this day. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom the infant, Stella Rose Prokos, who will be baptized this week. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom all of those who are sick and suffering this day at homes and in hospitals and in institutions, especially those suffering from COVID-19, the coronavirus, and those who are embattled for their health. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom those departed in the faith, all of our loved ones, especially the newly departed servant of God, the cantor Donald Koval, and may the Lord God remember in his kingdom all of you and all Orthodox Christians always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, gracious, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be unto all of you. And with your Spirit. Let us love one another so that with one mind we may confess. Oh, 
the doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages. The light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things were made, both for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was also crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And he rose again on the third day according to the Scriptures, and he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. And of his kingdom there will be no end. And the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, and proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified and spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Stanum dobri, stanum so stracum von nim, sviatoje voznošenje vo miri prinositi. Hospoda, našo se sa Krista i ljubi Boha i Otca pri časti i ispotao duha, budi so vsimi vami. I so dukam tvoj. Or je se Yet ever the same, you, the Holy God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, who brought us out of non-existent to being, to whom we had fallen away since I began, left again, and then to leave us to heaven, and we shall have promised to all, and to be thanked to the Son of the Spirit, for all that we all do not know in that disadvantage, so to punish us, Thank you also for this liturgy, which you have found worthy to receive from our hands, even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft on their wings. Singing, shouting, crying out, and singing the triumphal hymn. Oi! 
bread and his holy up here on immaculate hands having given thanks blessed sanctified and broke it and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles saying take and eat this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sin oh, 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 he took the chalice saying all of you drink of this this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Oh. Remembering, therefore, the saving command of that has been done for us, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming. And offering to you yours of your own in behalf of all and for all. On these gifts lying here before us, and make this bread the precious body of Christ, amen. And that which is in this cup is the blood of Christ, amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit, amen, amen, amen. For the fullness of the kingdom of heaven, our confidence in our judgment and condemnation. Furthermore, we offer to the spiritual sacrifice of those who have fallen asleep in the Father's first spiritual as prophets, apostles, preachers, and angels, martyrs, confessors, ascetics. Forever, I just perfect. Especially for our ever holy, ever pure, ever blessed and glorious Lady, the birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary. Remember among the first, O Lord, our holy ecumenical patriarch Bartholomew, the Archbishop of Constantinople, our most reverend Metropolitan Gregory. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, in safety, in honor, and in health for many years, so that they may faithfully dispense the word of your truth. And remember all your people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and sublime name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have remembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
for the precious gifts which have been offered and consecrated. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Our God who loves mankind, having received them on his holy, most heavenly and mystical altar, as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, may bestow upon us and return the divine grace and gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, and wants, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. For a day that in all things will be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us beseech the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us beseech the Lord. For all that is good and profitable to our souls, and for the peace of the world, let us beseech the Lord that we pass the remainder of our life in peace and repentance, let us beseech the Lord. For a Christian ending of our life without pain and shame, peaceful, and for a good account of the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us beseech the Lord. Having asked for the unity of faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Lord, with full confidence and without condemnation to dare to call upon you, God our Heavenly Father, and to say to you, Our Father who art in heaven, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be unto all of you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. Through the grace and bounties and love towards mankind, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your old holy, gracious, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Be attentive, holy things are for the holy.
Forgive me, my brothers and my sisters, all of my sins, voluntary and involuntary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe, O Lord, and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me as a partaker of your holy mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you. Remember me, O Lord, when you shall come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you shall come into your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you shall come into your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly a most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Virio hospodius povedujo, jako ti jesi vojestino Christos in Boha živoho, prožedvo miristni vzpasti od niši prvim jesim az. Večer tvoje tajne dnes in Bože pričasno kam ja primi, da bo vrahom tvojim tajno povim, bilo obzvanje ti dam jako juda, no jako razbojnik izpovedaje si od tebi. Komenem je hospodje, da prideš svoj sažstvo je tvojem. Komenem je vlarko, da prideš svoj sažstvo je tvojem. Komenem je sjati, da prideš svoj sažstvo je tvojem. Ndar vo sur ili osuždene, budet me pričasti v sjati k tvoji tajn hospodji, no bo selenije duši je tila. Virio hospodji spovedujo, jako si je ježo prijemnju, bo je stinu jest, istina je samija prečistuje tila tvoja, istina je samija život trojašča krov tvoja. Jaže miluši smo dobim ja dostonu prijati postavljenje vseh rekoh mojim i vo žizen večno. Amin. Bože milosti mi bude mi rešnemu, Bože očisti reki moje pomilim ja, bez čisti so reki hospodji prostim ja. Vo ime Otca i Sina in Svetovo Duha. Amin. Molite o Gospodu, Gospoda Sone. Molite o Gospodu, Gospoda Sone. And with love, come forward. Blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Receive the body. the fountain of immortality. 
has touched your lips, it shall take away all your iniquities, wash away all of your sins. Thanks be to God. O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true Adore the undivided Holy Trinity, for the Trinity has saved us. Vidi comes vidis dini, e pria cum ducane bes nao, o bristum cum vidis de noio. Neras delis ati troici poklania iemsia, kabonas paslanje. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Ja, 
Ako da vos poje slavu tvoju. I ako hospodu bil jesi, i ako hospodu bil jesi, jesi i nas Bože. Pričastim ti si ja, si ja ti besmertnim. Prečistim brev si ja ti, Odverni nas, Bože, o Tvoje sjatinje. Sjarni počati sja, Bože, stvene i pravdi Tvoje. Aleluja. Having received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, and life-creating awesome mysteries of Christ arise. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having asked that this day will be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For you are sanctification, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us depart in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, blessing those who bless you and sanctifying those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them by your divine might. And forsake us not who put our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to your priests to the honorable government of our country, to its armed forces, and to all your people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we give glory and thanksgiving and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Christ is among us. He is and shall Christos be. Posredinas. Yes, the Buddha. At this time, I'm going to call forward Susanna Spontek, who has been for much time preparing for entrance into the Holy Orthodox Church uh, to bring her forward for chrismation so that she may be anointed and uh, become full member of the Orthodox faith. She comes forward now with her sponsors, with Nicholas and Justine Timko. You stand right in the middle. No, you're center. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> this is for you. You hold on to that, okay? You can eat one, one, two. Go. Okay. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In your name, O 
Lord, God of truth, and in the name of your only begotten Son, and in the name of your most holy Spirit, look upon this your handmaiden, Susanna, who has been accounted worthy to take refuge in your holy name and to be protected under the shelter of your wings. Remove from her any former errors and fill her with faith in you, with hope in you, and with love for you. Enable her to walk in the way of your commandments and to fulfill all those things which are pleasing to you. For the person who does these things will find life in them. Inscribe her into your book of life and unite her to the flock of your inheritance so that your holy name may be glorified in her together with the holy name of your life-giving spirit. Let your eyes always look mercifully upon her and let your ears be attentive to the voice of her supplication. Grant that she will acknowledge you by worshiping and glorifying your great and exalted name and will praise you all the days of her life. For all the powers of heaven sing your praises, O God, and yours is the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Go ahead and recite profession of faith, okay. I believe. I, Susanna Sponta, with steadfast faith, believe and profess all <clears throat> and everything that is contained in the symbol of faith, namely, I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, light of the light, true God of true God, begotten, not made consubstantial with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and it was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and was, <clears throat> and was made man. He was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he arose again, according to the scriptures. <clears throat> and he ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom shall, hope, <clears throat> shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father, and the Son is adored and glorified, who spoke through the prophets in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life in the world to come. Amen. Blessed is God who wills that all men should be saved and should come to the knowledge of the truth. Blessed is he forever. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Blessed are you, O Lord, God Almighty, source of all good things and Son of justice, who through the manifestation of your only begotten Son, our God, who did make the light of salvation shine upon those who were in the darkness and have graciously granted to us unworthy, though we be a blessed cleansing and holy water. Blessed are you, who now have been graciously pleased to cause the rebirth of your handmaiden Susanna and granted to her the remission of sins, both voluntary and involuntary. O Master and most merciful, Merciful King of all, grant unto her also the seal of the gift of your holy, almighty, and adorable spirit. Keep her in your sanctification and strengthen her in the orthodox faith. Deliver her from the evil one and from all his cunning. And through a saving fear of you, preserve her soul in purity and in righteousness so that she may please you in her every word and deed and thus become a daughter and heir to your heavenly kingdom. For you are God, the God of mercy and salvation. And we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Go 
go ahead and place your right hand upon the Gospels and we will recite the pledge. The I, Susanna Sponta, touching with my hand God's holy Gospels, enlightened by divine grace, profess the faith with the one holy Catholic and apostolic church of Christ teaches. I believe the Orthodox Church to be the one true church which Jesus Christ established on earth, to which I submit myself with all my heart and soul, and I reject every error which is condemned by her. So help me, God, one in the Holy Trinity, the Mother of God, and all the saints. Amen. Amen. Our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, committed to his apostles the keys of the kingdom of heaven and bestowed upon them full power through his grace, both to bind and loose a person from sins upon earth. May the same Lord, through his unspeakable mercy, pardon and forgive you, and I, by his almighty power, given to me. An unworthy priest through his holy apostles and their successors do pardon and absolve you, spiritual child Susanna, from all censures, and do unite you unto the fellowship of the faithful and unto the body of Christ's church, and do communicate you with the divine sacraments of the church in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the fear of God, with faith and with love, come forward. You come in the name of the Lord, the Lord is God, and has revealed himself to all. Behold, this has touched your lips, you shall take away all your iniquities, and wash away all of your sins. Thanks be to God. O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. We have have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. We adore the undivided Holy Trinity, for the Trinity has saved us. Grant, O Lord, to your newly chrismaiden and maiden of God, Susanna, to her husband and to her unborn child, grant them peace, health, and long life for many happy and blessed years. Nam nochaya ibla chaya lita. Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Christ is among us. Christos pos redinas. Yes, the Buddha. Welcome home. Thank you. Wonderful. Yes, we'll do a photo, please. Keep singing. Keep singing. Keep singing. Oh, she... 
Many blessed years to Susanna and to her growing family. Amen. Please be seated. Welcome all St. Nicholas faithful and visitors this morning. Many happy and blessed years to all of those who are celebrating especially their birthdays this morning. To Tony Chiselka, to Danielle Hoffman, to Slavomir Kormanik, to Don Krasinowski, to Catherine Rail, to John Kinja, and to Sarah Jean Campbell. Many happy and blessed years. As well as to those celebrating their anniversaries this week, especially to John and Lucy Chiselka. Many happy and blessed years. All are invited to come forward after the final blessing to receive the blessed bread and to be anointed with holy anointing oil, after which you are invited to come downstairs for coffee hour, which has been prepared in part by Susanna and her family and Nick and Justine and their family and other volunteers who have come together uh, to do our coffee hours, the teams who are working together now again, thanks be to God, uh, that we may have a great fellowship together. This week we have... On Tuesday, the Feast of the Nativity of the Mother of God. Uh, and uh, on Saturday, we have the Baptism of Stella Rose Prokos, the daughter of James and Lauren Prokos. That will take place on Saturday at 11 a.m. And, of course, Vespers at 6 p.m. that day as well. Um, let's see. We have some announcements, one of which I think is well circulated by this time. We bid farewell to our caretaker, of six years to the parish family, to Christian Gonfalian, to his wife Petrucha, and to their daughter uh, Maria Virginia. They served, uh, they came on about the same time I did, about exactly the same time I did. Um, and so it will be difficult for me to think of St. Nicholas without them also being here, um, just as it would be hard uh, for any of you, to, to not have any of you here. And so we wish as they go on that God may grant them many more blessed years. Namochaya i blachaya lita. May they go with God's blessings. Um, and with that comes uh, some household housekeeping announcements. Um, since we do not have now a caretaker for a little while, uh, however long it may take, please, as you go around, just make sure that you keep your own area as neat as possible with the mindset that there may not be somebody to clean up after you. Um, so please just tidy as you go, look after the place um, until we can also secure somebody uh, uh, more permanent once again, uh, which is an important position here in the parish family. Um, so uh, please keep in your prayers, Christian Petrucha and Virginia, and uh, look after the house as though it were your own, because it is. It is your own. So we're going to do that, and, uh, and we continue our search to be able to fill the position. Membership responsibilities. If you have not paid... Uh, your 2021 church membership dues, please see Magda in the office. Moreover, if you have not made your holy confession in a while necessary for any membership, please come see me as well before or after divine liturgy so that we are keeping up these things and growing in the Orthodox faith. Let's see. We had a wonderful set of blessings on Sunday. We had the blessing of fruit, I said in the sermon, but we also had a blessing of students and teachers as they go back to school. Keep them in your prayers as well um, as they continue. It is good to have these things. Uh, I, I know that I am personally thankful that uh, my own daughter can go to school and continue to do those things, so please keep all the students and teachers in your prayers as they go on with the school year. And all, not just grade school, but all college students, some of whom are here uh, with us um, uh, from the area, many of them uh, from NYU. Um, I have Maria over here. Maria, raise your hand, please. This is Maria, uh, who is joining us from NYU, as well as Owen. Some of you have come to know Owen over time. He's also a catechumen here. We have uh, Vasi. Raise your hand. Some of you got to know Vasi a little bit over the past couple of years from NYU. Um, uh, some of these, the local students uh, as well. Um, and so please uh, keep all of the college students of our parish and those who are visiting the parish, uh, keep them all in your prayers as they continue with their studies. God's strength to all of them. And finally, we're thankful for donations this morning. Thank you for donations given by Mr. and Mrs. Peter Vinatko for the health of daughter Nicole Vinatko on her birthday. Thank you for a donation given by John Kinja for the health on his birthday. Thank you for a donation given from Mr. and Mrs. Michael Kormanik on, his, uh, uh, on, on the uh, chrismation of Susanna Spontek. And, uh, and a final announcement, there will be a men's club Zoom meeting uh, starting this coming Friday. Please see Mike Kormanik today uh, to be involved. Anything else to announce at this time? It's good to see you all. You ready to go?
Oh, wait. Say it again. Manville Church. I was not provided with whatever the count was. Did we have the count? 756. So let's do the math. So the, the church board donated $2,000 towards Manville. The, uh, the, the altar society, $1,500. And then we had about $750, uh, give or take, from the collection. That adds it up to 4250 Did I do okay? And you know what? You did okay, too. Well done, all of you. Well done, all of you. Um, those funds have been sent to the church. Uh, they've begun to be sent to the church. They're going to be sent in pieces, I think. Um, and uh, uh, thank God that uh, and they've made progress. So if you would like to see the progress that they're making at the Manville Church, um, please go on. You can go onto their Facebook page, and they they post regular videos and updates on how they're doing. Um, there's a lot of work to do. Still a lot of work to do. Um, and we also received thank yous from the parish in uh, Litmanova, Yarabina. Thank you. From Yarabina. And uh, one of those thank yous is posted outside, just outside the door. If you take a right where we usually keep the mail, you'll be able to see some words of thank you there. And there will be further information as well. I believe uh, it was about 43 families who received assistance from funds that were raised here at the parish. So thank God that, uh, that we can do that, that God gives us that work to do and that we meet the task. Um, thank you. Okay? Let's get going. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ, our God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Father, give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, through the prayers of his most pure mother, through the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the prayers of our Holy Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we celebrate this day, through the prayers of Saint Nicholas, the Wonder Worker, patron saint of our parish, and through the prayers of St. Maxim Sandovich, whom we commemorate this day, and through the prayers of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is gracious and he loves mankind. Grant, O Lord, to these your servants gathered here, and to all those in need of our prayers, grant them peace, health, and long life, for many happy and blessed years. Namuchaya, Iblachaya, Lita, 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 God bless America. God bless America, and that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, white with Oh, 
Je lui Yeah. 